just going to start with maybe the cadmium yellow deep. We're, gonna, we're just going to lay in some sunset colors up here. I'm thinking a uh, nice sunset. The two mountains, or three mountains, are going to be kind of evenly spaced across. But it's going to be a very, very gentle sunset is what I'm going for here. into the middle. And over here I'm going to put uh, French ultramarine so it'll be a nice blue. Around the tops of one. Mostly red and blue purple color. Straight cross, or straight, straight-ish. Fender 31, hey Nate, how are you buddy? I'm doing well, Fender, how are you? Just doing the, uh, continuing the 50 states thing from last week. I'm using some water mixable oils today, so it should be a, should be a bit of fun. All right, I gently wiped out this brush so it doesn't have as much crimson in it. I'm gonna blend around the edge here. Marine blue. And we'll go around around the side there. And then we'll come back and maybe highlight some things up in the sky, make it look more cloudy. Ooh, this is a very, very thick ultramarine. Holy cow. I'm gonna hit it and doesn't even move. <laughs> I should have tested that before I, before I hopped on, but that's okay. Nothing wrong with a thick paint. Just gonna go into the corners first and then come down. A little bit more blue here. Throw it down towards the bottom. The bottom, I think, um, I'm gonna make a little mountain range off in the distance. And I'll use mostly uh, crimson and ultramarine for that. I'll have a paint there in the corner. You can tell when I have a glob of paint because it makes little chunks like this. And then I just got to blend it out. That doesn't look too bad. I like that quite a bit. Try to blend this out some more. I think I'm going to highlight some things here and there. I might use the palette knife for this actually. It might come out better than if I were to just do it with a brush. Let's see though. Let's see. Sun, sun in here. And we'll just start throwing this bright color up through. It won't really look good for when we start, but once we blend it out, it'll look better. I did notice this was too dark here, so I'm just going to throw white all over that. Maybe just a little touch up here. There we go. <laughs> it doesn't really look like anything right now. But just wait. Let's grab, I'll make sure this brush is mostly clean. I could use a, could use a different, I actually might use a different brush for this part here. Let me do that real quick.
그럼요. 그럼요. Just add some some variation to the color that was there. Let's do it up here. Doesn't look as flat, you know. Sometimes I like doing that, just adding white on top and then blending it out. It makes everything look a little bit, a little bit brighter, a little bit shinier. There we go. There's some clouds, some sun, a little sunset. Maybe the sun's right in there. All right, now we can do the background uh, background mountains and they're just going to be let's see how far i want the peaks to be kind of big here so maybe i'll just scrape in whatever there one here and one there you probably won't be able to see that but i can kind of see those just for my own uh, my own brain there all right this is crimson and ultramarine maybe a little bit more ultramarine because it's quite thick so that just means there's a lot more pigment in it, less oil. All right. Stir it around. And then we'll add some white to this. Let's see. That's good. That's good enough right there. All right. Now we'll go into this two-inch brush. This is just a Trilon brush. It's what I use for a... when I'm doing water mixable oil paintings. This is all going to be burnt sienna pretty much, so I'll mist out the bottoms here in a second. And these are really far away, so I don't want very many details on these. Alright, let's uh, tap out the bottoms here. I've got to hold the canvas so I don't knock it over. Just a little bit, not too much. See, and they're in the they're in the background. They're not uh, they're not the highlight of this painting. Just a little bit on the top. it look even more misty. Alright, now I'm just going to throw in a burnt sienna all, all the way along the bottom, just to have it filled in. The rest of this painting, I think I said, it's going to be mostly, mostly the burnt sienna down here, so I'm just going to fill it in. Canvas is a little dry. Could also add some oil, but I don't have any on the palette as of right now. Hi Nate, hi Paul, how's it going? Started a little bit earlier than I said it was. I'm just going across the middle here. There we go. Starting to look like the 
in the desert. All right. I'm going to do three, three of these peaks. What are you painting? Sorry, I'm late. No, no worries about being late. We're painting Monument Valley, Arizona. This is we're on. We did Alaska. I think we last one we did was Alaska, so now we're on Arizona and Arkansas. Just going alphabetically through the states. Wiping off my palette knife real quick. All right, we got to we got to scrape in some stuff here. I think the first one the first one had like a little thing that sticks up on the left side. Pretty steep up here at the top. And the bottom is kind of something like that. <laughs> We're just doing the back. Sorry for all the scraping. We're doing the back one first. And it's a little, just a hint lighter than the other ones. Just a hint. I'm going to use. What are we going to use for this? We're going to use some white and some sienna. Just gonna try and pull straight down. And this is a pretty steep angle on the fan brush. You could probably do this with the filbert as well. It comes down. We're just blocking in the color, the back color first. All right, add some more of that. Or Sienna. One day I'll get that right. I'll remember. Sienna is Sienna. Alright. I think this one's more flat. So I'm going to try flatten it a little bit. There we go. I need to darken some things up in the mid ground there, but we'll get to that here in a sec. All right, we gotta add, yeah, add a little bit of that blue color to this. We gotta darken it up just a little bit for some shadows. Maybe some there. These are just where the like peaks are gonna be inside. It might be a little hard to see. But this is the farthest one back, so it's not going to have, it's going to have the least details out of all of them. And you could also do this with a palette knife, but for the back one, I just want to use a fan brush, because I don't want many details on it. Some. And then add just a little, a little bit of white to that. There we go. There we go. Right there. Just a little bit. Again, this is the farthest one back, so we're not going to have much details. There we go. All right. I'm going to rinse this fan brush off real quick. front. Let's grab same burnt burnt sienna. Not umber. Burnt sienna. A little bit of black. This is super strong black, so 
got to be a little careful. Not too careful, but just a little bit. That might be too much. Too much black. All right, we're moving up. Moving forward. We'll grab a little bit here. And this one, I think this one was steep. And it was mostly flat, but it's hard for me to remember. And my palette knife here is like pretty much vertical with the canvas. down as much as I can here. I do like the spaces, so canvas holes here. Is this regular oils? Uh, these are the Grumbacher ones that I used uh, Friday. So Grumbacher Max water mixable oils. Seems you're getting better every week. That sky is sick. <laughs> Thanks. That's my only goal is to get a little bit better every week. Other than that, I don't have, like most people have subscriber goals and stuff. I just want to get better at painting. <laughs> That's all I want to do. Meet new people as well. I guess I have two goals. All right. I think this one looks pretty good over here. That was a very nice color. I don't know what color I made with burnt sienna and Mars black, but I, I, like, I like that. I like that. Well, let's do the other side while we're at it. And this one had, oh, I already blocked in a little bit here. I think he was also flat, but he had a little bump in the, over here, and it was pointing at that one. They're friends, they're kind of waving at each other. All right, well, let's do this side, careful. Pull left, and then he's gonna wave. You gonna wave at him? <laughs> Here we go. He's waving. Down some more. And I think this one has like a a round bottom to him, so it like comes out like this. So it comes out over there too. There we go. And then I might throw this all the way across the bottom. Whatever's left, and <laughs> we can blend it out. Uncle 60, hello all. <laughs> hello Uncle 60. How's it going? Blend these together here. All right, now I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna pull down. Make it look like a shadow. There we go. Do the same on the other side. Gotta be careful with the big brush. It can cover a lot of space really quickly. All right, I think we got the uh, we got the outlines in there. Now we can highlight. Favorite soccer team, Austin FC, just scored a goal. <laughs> First ever played with two minutes left. Nice. It's exciting. I've been watching, um, what's that show? Welcome to Wrexham. That's pretty good. 
I'm about to wreck some AFC over in Wales. Really good show. All right, I'm just wiping off my small knife here. I might use a small knife, but we'll see. We'll see. All right, let's go back into my crimson, which is slid around a bit as it does from time to time. Add that to that color over here. Add some white. Lighten him up. All right, we have a color. This is gonna be pretty dark, but I just need it to add texture to the mountain before I add real highlights to him. And the little hand already has pretty good texture on him, so I'm going to leave him alone. No need to work on him when he doesn't need it. Here we go. Billy's here. Hey, Billy. How's it going? Hope you're doing well. All right. I don't know if you can see the textures on here, but they're coming out. I can see lots of little holes where a nice highlight can go. All right. Now we're gonna add, let's see, white and maybe ochre, I don't know. We need a nice bright color. that. All right, let's start to, let's touch him up. These are going to be really steep. So I got to pull straight up and down in lines. This one's a little sharper at the top. There we go. And then around the middle, let's see. A little bit more white there, a little brighter color. There we go. Around here. Maybe some back here. I think these are more horizontal on the, on the middle here. So I'm just going to tap in some color and then blend it out here in a second. Do that real quick. All right, where's that palette knife? There he is. All right, let's go do... Maybe a little bit more here. I don't know. Oh, sticky. Very sticky. I forgot. <laughs> Water mixed boils. Very sticky. Very, very sticky. Paint. Let me pull some down here. Looks like there's a big gap there in the middle. I'm going to get rid of that. There we go. All right, I might do a path. It looks like there's already a path coming through down there. So I might add that in here afterwards. I have to start up on my old paints again, been watercolor and acrylics for three months. Oh, wow. Yeah, watercolor and acrylics seem pretty fun. I've only ever gotten, I used gouache a bit. I haven't gotten too into watercolors. I'm mostly oils, but they're pretty, they seem pretty fun. Ooh, there we go. All right. And pull down a little bit down here. Maybe I want this one to be darker than the other one. 
because he's on the sun's back there, so I don't think there would be as that kind of sunshine on him. That ochre actually helped a little bit there. Can you see my chat? Yes, I can. I can see your chat. I don't know. Sometimes YouTube uh, it'll just turn people's chats off. I don't know why. It does the same thing with comments. I'll have like a little comment count on a video. I'll go click on the video and it'll, there won't be any comments on it. So I don't know what they're doing, but it's very frustrating. I think this, uh, how's this right one look? Does that look okay? This one looks a little weird. I'll go touch it, touch it little places here and there. Alright. Don't want to mess it too much. Or what do they say? Piddle with it. Just a little bit here and there. Alright, let's add. What are we going to add? A brush? Path. That's what I wanted to do. Okay. All right. We got sienna. We got some uh, ochre. This will be the background color. I think might look okay. Cut through that dark. And we can add some foliage or maybe some shrubs here and there. Just need to know where the path is first. Alright, so there's that. I'll add a few shrubs here and there. They're going to be pretty far away, so maybe some at the bottom. Very far off in the distance little shrubs. And I'll blend, blend, blend some of these out. Because some of them don't need to be that dark. Alright. Especially over here. Alright. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think that's good on the shrubbery. I'll just blend out the bottoms of those, some of those. Especially down here. I don't really want those to show up at all now. Those ones are fine. That one's a little too sharp. This one looks fine. That one's fine. He's fine. He's fine. They're all fine. <laughs> Maybe this one's too sharp. I don't like that one. Get rid of it. There we go. Alright, so there's some like cactus looking things. I don't know what they are. Tumbleweeds maybe. Just off in the background. We can add some more white to that path color. Not very well mixed. Start pulling on it. right to left kind of a hoop makes it look more deep all right there's our path there's our little cactuses looking things some of those I might touch up with a script liner real quick let's do that we got a bunch of yellow left there's the sun Actually, hmm, maybe the sun actually hits all the way back here. 
Can't really tell what these are. Maybe it's a cactus, maybe it's something else. But I'm just gonna fling this color in back here. I'll have to blend that out, but maybe we'll just throw it in. <laughs> we'll throw it in like this and then blend it out. That's easier. All right. And then we'll blend these ones out. This is just script liner on the script liner and cadmium yellow deep. That one's too bright. All right, there we go. Now we'll blend them out. This one, because I didn't like them. Just a little bit. All right. We can always tap in some. I kind of want to tap in some of that color back here. And then blend it out the same. But I've got to wipe it off first because I don't want that much paint on there. my bread alarm. <laughs> Alright, I think that's about it for that side. That side, I think this side's okay. It doesn't need, it doesn't really need anything. Alright. What do you think, folks? Want to add anything? <laughs> add or remove? Whoops. Could always add a giant cactus somewhere. But I don't know if are there cactus cacti in Monument Valley. Was this a Bob Ross episode or is it from your brain file? This is from my brain file for uh, Monument Valley, Arizona. So heavily inspired from that. I went there a long time ago, so I have some pictures of it. wipe these off. Probably just sign it now. Then we can move on to the uh, Arkansas. Alright, let's see. I don't have my little dropper for water mix oils. So I have to use just a <laughs> the whole bottle of oil. Alright, there's a big blob of paint there. That's no good. signed take them down see how we did wash up all these brushes there we go uh, can you see that <laughs> maybe monument valley arizona and up next is arkansas